Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create some uh, special uh, place uh, for our aircon, exterior aircon on our facade. Uh, we will create this family. This family will be fully parametric as you see we will, uh, we will do uh, like uh, two type of the family in one. So I will show you how you can do it and you will create your first own really parametric uh, family. So let's start. We will create new family. Let's let's go to the file and create the new after that family. Uh, and we should find like metric generic uh, face based here model face based. Let's open up. Uh, here we are. Nice. And let's create uh, from the scratch. So first thing what I gonna do, I will use the sweep today. Uh, I will go to the, for example, to I will say backside and let's create the sweep. Let's choose the sweep. After that, I will choose the path. So I will draw the sketch uh, for our path. Let's create the one. Now it doesn't matter the, about the dimensions. We will uh, fix it now. So now I need a uh, dimension. I'm using uh, short key DI. So it means dimension. Let's put one dimension here and the second one here. And as you see that our dimension is totally big. I want to res rescale it. So let's do the two, one, one to five. And that one I need uh, to be equal. So it means uh, the between this line and here I will create the first parameter. So the first parameter will be like uh, the mm, W. So it means like with. Let's say OK. And the second one I'm using again common DI from that line to that green one line. So like this. And that parameter will be L like this. So, okay, now we have the two parameters, nice. Let's go back to the our reference plan. And as you see, we can see now the square thing. The square, the square thing, this is line, as you see, uh, have the on the this line square thing. So you should, you should know about that. If you will go to 3D, you will understand why it's like that. Because uh, our profile will follow the square thing all this way. So let's say, okay. And now we will edit our profile. So let's edit profile. It means we will create it. And we will go to the reference level here. Let's create the sum mm, cube like this. And now it doesn't matter about that. I will use again DI, I mean dimension, to prepare it. And as you see, our dimension totally big and I will change to one to one. It's even that one big. Uh, well, let's do like this. And I will do it equal. I will use again di command from that one and for that one too and for whole one. So let's do this equal to with our equal here. Uh huh. And now I need the more commands like for that one. Let's create the common new parameters. I mean, sorry. Uh, it will be like p. It means profile v. And here I will do the same thing, like P means profile and L. Let's say OK. And let's say again OK. And let's say OK again. Let's go back to 3D and as you see we get our profile. Now it's fully parametric. I mean it's like a basic parametrics thing. Uh, let's change it. Uh, for example I want to make like 15 by 15. Why not? And let's say apply. And as you see, we get it. Okay, nice. Now I will should try other things like uh, is it working or no? Like let's hundred and three hundred. Let's say okay. Now everything works fine. Let's go back uh, back to the back view. Oh no, sorry, the uh, reference level. And now what I gonna do? I will choose that thing. And I will use the mess, I mean uh, the array. Let's use the array. Okay. And now I will put like this. It doesn't matter about dimension again, just like this. And let's say I need five copies. Okay, uh, remove constraint, R ungroup it. It's, uh, it's okay. Oh, we no need to ungroup it, sorry. 
it was my mistake. First, before we will do that, I will use command align to align this one, remove constraint and lock it. Because we should know this our uh, first level, we will start from that one. And after that, uh, I will use array, I will say OK, like this, 5, enter. And now everything okay, sorry, it was my wrong, but I not will cut this video, because you should understand what I did wrong. Okay, now everything fine, but uh, I want to uh, mm, control how many mm, the lures we have. For that one, I will choose one of them, and as you see, now I'm, I can see the, how many we have now. I will choose this line, as you see this is array, name array, let's choose this line. And now I am able to change the label, let's change the label and add new parameter. And I will say like it's count, why not? And let's say ok. Now as you see, I can change to 10 and apply. And as you see now it's 10. What uh, if you want uh, uh, control uh, gap between these lures? So let's use di command, its dimension means. And we will say like this is parameter, new parameter, like uh, distance between, uh, between lures. Let's say like between all. I know no one writes so so many the um, spelling here. So let's like this and okay. Uh, let's change now distance between lures to, to I don't know like say uh, fifteen. Let's say okay. And as you see, it's changing, changing everywhere because the, the that one it's group, group just copying uh, the existing uh, file, uh, existing model. Let's say okay. So we get the first uh, our basket. Uh, before I will continue what I want to do, I will select all of them. Oh, sorry, uh, I, will ch I will select only one of them. I will go inside to the group. I will uh, choose the, uh, this, uh, uh, this lower. And after that, I will go to the visibility. As you see here, the small button here, associated family parameter. Let's click on that and let's create new one. And let's say this is like square, SQ. Let's say OK, let's say OK, and um, let's do some material, I don't know. Let's apply some material for that one. Uh, I don't know, why Why not, default wall. Now we have some material for that. And let's say uh, finish. Now everything OK. So, for, uh, seems it's already finished, but uh, I want to make some... Um, uh, some some variants of these baskets. So how we can make it? Uh, actually easy. So what we're gonna do? Uh, now I will create again new profile. I will go to the back view and here the sweep. I will use the another sweep. And here the path. I will create again one more path. Let's make it a bit bigger. I will use again command di to dimension and for all of them. Let's uh, make it equal like this and for that dimension I will give you the parameter the, 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 the this v, w now you see it's exactly on the same position let's use the uh, again di and for that one to this green line and for this one I will give the, the other parameter let's make it L and as you see again the same position Let's go back to the our uh, reference level and let's create here the something new. Uh, so what I'm gonna create here, let's think, let's think. Oh, before I will, ah yeah, everything okay. Uh, here I will do the, um, again, the square thing like this. Oh, I will say yes and after that I will go to the edit profile and after that I will choose the square thing. Let's choose the square like this. Now I will use again command di between that, that line and that line and again from between that line and whole, whole of this line and whole of this line. Okay, 
So for deadline, I will give the parameter the same like I did before with my profile, profile uh, W here and here the profile L, profile L. Okay. And for that parameter, I need to do equal and for that also equal. So now everything fine, right? So let's say, uh, oh yeah, yes, let's say okay. Let's go back to the back view and I will change one thing now. I will change the path. Let's double click on the path and I will use the fillet arc and radius maybe like 50. I don't know. Let's let's check it. Yeah, why not? Let's make the 50. Now choose the your arc and this small button. We will create a dimension for that one and choose this dimension. Let's create new parameter for this dimension and we will make like the uh, profile radius okay and for that one we will do the same thing with our profile radius here okay awesome uh, let's say okay and let's apply it everything fine now let's choose our new profile let's make some uh, new material for that one uh, let's say this default some and again visible this is small bottom associated family parameter and let's create new and we make it like cycle all curve one why not let's say okay let's say okay so now we will go back to our reference plane uh, now I need to uh, align it align to this line remove constraint and lock it now as you see I cannot see where is my the curve one so i will use for example the back view i will choose here the my curve i will go back to the uh, reference level and as you see and uh, now i'm selected on curve it's still selected now i need to create the array so let's create array let's say okay and let's do the some incredible things like this one because i want to see where is my uh where is my profile and let's make it five and as you see it's here now what I'm gonna do, I will choose that one and choose this array and I will uh, apply the count label, this one. Now it will be exactly on the same position. So what we're gonna do, as we did before, we should create the distance between all of them. Let's do it. I will uh, use the measure, uh, but uh, let's go on to 3D view. This is a little bit better. Yeah, I think I can work here in 3D. Yes, let's make 1 to 10. Uh, awesome. And now I will hide this one. And I will use dimension DI between that one and that one. Yes. And I will choose this line and I will give to distance between between these parameters. And as you see, everything now should be fine. Ah, no, it's not fine because I have here the one more. Let's do it again. Di between that one and that one. Now everything fine. I'm sorry. Three seconds done. Awesome. Uh, now let's unhide everything like reset temporary. And as you see, we have like two models. So now we should create the parameters for them. Let's go to the uh, family. And here we are. Let's make it uh, under under our and let's uh, write like here not that one and now uh, Revit say like uh, we have the problem of course because we should say like this like this and like this now everything fine as you see if um, I have checkbox here uh, Revit automatically will switch off the uh, my square one. If I will uh, check here, Revit automatically will uh, switch on my square one. So we can manipulate of them. So let's create the uh, some type of the uh, this family. Like let's create new type and we will write like um, uh, square one uh, 500 by I don't know like 200 maybe. Uh, and let's create new one like uh, curve one 500 maybe by uh, I don't know like uh, 150 
So here the uh, curve one, so it means checkbox here. And 500, uh, 500, let's do more properly here. So here 500 by 150. Okay, and let's apply. Let's change it to the square one. So checkbox on the square one and 500 by 200. 500 by 200. And let's say okay. Let's say okay, and let's. Uh, oh, before I will test it, so I need to align it. As you see, uh, now it's not on the middle point. Let's do it like this. Just comment align, align this part and this part. And as you see, we get the wrong si side. We should go to inside this family. I mean, this uh, inside that group, and align it like this. Now everything will be fine, as you see. Uh, let's create. Oh uh, no, I not will create. I will just load it uh, inside my project because I already have one project. Let's load it inside the project. Just a few second. Here we are. Here are the my new box, as you see, and I can change it. For example, from that one to that one. It takes time, and as you see, everything fine. Everything working. For example, I want to change the dimensions. I am able to change it, maybe like 300 by 100, and maybe I want to change the also the count. Let's count here the count, and let's change to the five only. Let's say okay. As you see, fine. And even if I will change it to the other one, I mean the type of that one, to square, it will be also on the middle point. You can see it. As you see on the same middle point. So guys, as I said, I will leave this uh, family below this video. You are able to download it. Uh, I'm sorry I did so many mistakes. But I think it's better if you can see my mistakes. Because you will not do the same mistakes. You will understand why you, should, why you should, shouldn't do, for example, on the other way. Because now you can see the uh, all uh, wrongs and other things. Uh, so I think it was helpful for you because uh, this is like uh, uh, it's upper basic level parametric family. Let's call it like that one. Uh, if you like it, I I'm waiting like for you from you and of course comment please this video. Uh, I'm trying my best for you and see you soon.